been working basically nonstop for the past month. And now I think I deserve to be a little silly. What's up guys? It's Lauren and my YouTube channel is basically just an outlet for all of the things I am incapable of shutting up about. And for the past eight or so months, I have been incapable of shutting up about David Tennant. It's a problem. Forgive me if I like keep adjusting the lighting and camera angle. I haven't done anything long form since the video essay. For the past few weeks, I have been extremely busy finishing up the second year of my musical theater degree. I'm currently on crew for my university's production of Rent. And when I haven't been doing that, I've been working on some huge personal projects, including my new nine minute long Good Omens fan song, Curly's Lament. What the heaven's wrong with me? Please go stream it. It is my baby. I am so proud of it. But one thing I haven't done in a while is just sit down and talk to you guys at length about anything. And today, I want to talk about David Tennant's outfits. One of the many things I think makes David stand out from his peers in the entertainment industry is his sense of style. David has never been afraid of expressing himself through fashion, often through very bold, eccentric pieces that frankly, only he could pull off. I've always considered David one of my biggest style inspirations, as he is in like, basically every area of my life. But I feel like even more so lately, he's kind of becoming a bit of a fashion icon. I have talked at length in previous videos about the tenaissance, which is the term I came up with for this really sort of meteoric resurgence in popularity that David has been experiencing. He's just in this super confident, hyper-productive, gorgeously thriving era of his career right now. And it's really fascinating to me to see the way that this has manifested in how he presents himself, with his fashion choices in the past year being more daring, glorious, and distinctly David than ever. So since he just celebrated his 53rd birthday yesterday, I thought it would be really fun to just sit back, relax, and gush over the many intergalactic serves he has given us over the years. I am so hyped for this. I love a good tier list. Okay, so for the top tier, we have Look At You, You're Gorgeous. Look at you, you're gorgeous. These are the showstoppers. These are the iconic moments. These are the outfits that I like show people constantly and I'm like, look how pretty he is. For the second tier, we have Pretty Boy. Oh, I'm Pretty Boy. Yeah. These outfits are great. They're memorable. They look great on David. They're just not quite as legendary as the ones in the top tier. For the third tier, we have You Could Be Beautiful. You could be beautiful. These are outfits that could be great. Like I really want to like them, but they've just got like one questionable element that keeps them from reaching their true potential. And then the bottom tier is they did him dirty. I'm gonna be so real with you guys. I did not have the heart to put very many things in the bottom tier. Like David has had so many people be like really unnecessarily mean to him about his fashion choices over the years. And I just don't want to contribute to that at all. Like the majority of the things he wears like even if they're not to my personal taste, even if they're not the most flattering thing ever, I can look at them and be like, but it makes him happy. So if it's in the bottom tier, it's either like a really easy target that I could put in because I needed to put something there, or it's something that I don't think is like a worthy expression of who David is. Okay, so we're gonna kick things off with the gold and black ensemble that David wore to last year's Olivier's. So a very big presence throughout the Tenaissance has been Joshua Kane. Since last year, he has been designing basically all of David's red carpet outfits, and I absolutely love his work. He does such an amazing job bringing out David's personality and essence through these gorgeous, rich, detailed, playful fabrics, but we did get off to a bit of a rocky start with this one. A lot of people think this fabric is too much on David. I actually don't think it is. I think David can handle a lot of really bold patterns. What I struggle with on this is the length. Like it's either too long or too short and it hangs super awkwardly on him. It looks amazing in photos where you can't see the bottom half of the jacket. Like this one, David looks amazing in this picture. But sadly for that one slightly unfortunate detail, I'm gonna have to put it in You Could Be Beautiful. Another Joshua came from last year baftas and I'm getting a close look at this fabric now and I didn't even notice the pattern on it before but it's got like it's got like dudes in mustaches and top hats I'm not exactly sure what they're doing but it's a vibe I like it this is a really gorgeous and unique suit but something about it on David doesn't quite sit right with me the color is almost too cool for him maybe it's just this specific photo I chose where he looks a little bit washed out also the slick back hair is just not it I'm so sorry so I'm gonna put this one in the same tier as I did the last one this is the suit that David wore to comic relief last year got this gorgeous unique pattern where the polka dots get smaller and smaller which creates this really interesting sort of 
colored red to black gradient. Color is amazing on him. It's got so much personality. He's so handsome. I originally put this one at the top of Pretty Boy, but I had to reconsolidate the tier list a little bit because of size. So it's actually ended up going in Look At You, You're Gorgeous. David wore several variations on this red velvet suit between like 2007 and 2009. I'm not sure exactly what event it's from. I think my friend told me that this particular one is from Billy Piper's Wedding. This is the first like truly slay David fashion moment I can remember. I've talked at length about how David Tennant was the first man who made me experience gender envy. Like my username on Tumblr is literally David Tennant gender envy. And I vividly remember being like 13 years old and seeing him in this suit and being like, I want it. Took a little inspo from it in my current outfit, as a matter of fact. He does look maybe a little washed out in some of the photos. I think it looks better with a white shirt than with a black shirt. But for nostalgia's sake, I just have to put it in look at you gorgeous. Okay, so one thing we know about David is that he loves a super colorful fuzzy jumper. I couldn't include all of them, but I think I included like the three most prominent ones from the past year. So first up, we've got the striped cardigan that he wore to last year's New York City Comic Con, as well as like the next five or so events in a row. I am obsessed with this piece of clothing. Oh my gosh, it is so him. It's so like... It's colorful and playful and soft and also slightly insane. It looks so cozy. The colors look so good on him. This is look at you, you're gorgeous. Next we've got the like pale pink and green fuzzy striped one that was most notably worn in like the little TikTok shorts that he did for the BAFTAs this year. This is one that I feel like shouldn't work, but it does. Like the colors look inexplicably good on him. He just looks so cozy. It's the perfect example of one that's like definitely not something I would wear or even necessarily that I would put him in, but like I can tell it makes him happy. And at the end of the day, what else matters? This is also the one that he like wore with the pink Doc Martens in the interview and the interviewer called it camp and he was like, camp, it's high fashion. Like David, honey, do you know how much the gays love you? orange and brown one that he wore in the BAFTA's opening skit. Of these three, I do think this one is the least flattering. Like, I don't think that much orange that close to his face is a good look. But again, it makes him happy, so I can't really bring myself to hate it that much, so I'll just put it in You Could Be Beautiful. Up next, we have one of the funniest pictures I have seen in my entire life. I guess this is David in, like, an ugly Christmas sweater circa Good Omens season one. I mean, I don't really know what to say about this. Like, I kind of hate neon, so of course I think this looks objectively terrible on him. It's an ugly Christmas sweater, so that's kind of the point. Like, I guess I'll put this in the bottom tier because I have to put something there, and if this doesn't go in the bottom tier, I don't know what does. Up next, we've got a bit of a blast from the past. We have the all-black suit that David wore to accept, I think, his final national television award for Doctor Who. Looks great on him. It's like both classy and edgy at the same time. Beautiful tailoring. I always love to see him in a velvet. It's just not quite as memorable as some of his other looks. So I think I'll probably still put it in You Could Be Beautiful just so as not to overcrowd the second tier, but I do really like it. Up next we have the Leave Trans Kids Alone You Absolute Freaks shirt and the accompanying double-breasted blue jacket and NB pin. I think this might have been the first appearance of the NB pin. I'm not sure. I can't not put this one in the top tier, not even for fashion reasons. It's just, it was just such a moment. Such a sleigh. Up next we have this really classy sleek purple suit. This was from the red carpet of one of Ty's things. Maybe House of the Dragon? I don't know. I do have it on a really good source that David's favorite color is purple. It's mine too. But that he doesn't wear it very often anymore because it reminds people of Kilgrave. He really should wear it more often because this is such a gorgeous color on him. I'm gonna put it in Pretty Boy. Next we have the suit from his National Television Awards special recognition speech. Okay this one like actually makes me mad because like the special recognition award was maybe the biggest moment of David's career and then he accepted it in the most generic outfit I have ever seen him in. Like I get that it was because he didn't know he was going to be winning the award and his family like basically had to lie to him to get him to go to the awards so he just like slapped something on but it still pisses me off so I'm gonna put it in the bottom tier because I have to put something there. This is what I meant when I said doesn't feel like an accurate expression of who David is. Like I, I learned nothing about David from looking at this outfit and that's why it's bottom tier. 
Also fairly simple, but in my opinion, far superior suit. I think this is an Alexander McQueen from the red carpet of Jessica Jones. It's got these beautiful sparkly black sort of snowflake star looking appliques. It's double breasted. I love double breasted. I love this. It looks so chic on him and it really wouldn't look out of place in his like current era of black sparkly star fits. So I'm gonna put it in pretty boy. Um, next we have one of my favorite less flamboyant outfits of David's. He wore this one on the red carpet of camping. I just think it's hilarious that he chose to show up to the premiere of one of his most notoriously mid and least glamorous projects looking this good. Obviously he looks amazing in a turtleneck. It's just so flattering. Like it looks great with the hair. He was serving so much like movie star smolder in these pictures. Like who gave him the right? Next suit to accept his most recent national television award for best actor for Dez. You will probably remember this is the outfit he wore when Michael gave him the award and he hugged him and he was like, look, it's Michael Sheen. Oh my gosh. This suit looks so good on him. It's the most gorgeous bright blue like it's so flattering to his skin tone the yellow tie is just the perfect pop of color he really looked like so handsome that night i think i'm gonna put this one and look at you you're gorgeous we got a kilt david i think has worn several variations on this red and green kilt combo some definitely better than others this one is definitely my favorite i'm not sure what event it was for the sporin is beautiful i love the short jacket with the super sharp lapels it makes him look really broad shouldered the buttons are also gorgeous this one's going in Pretty Boy. I'm like a huge fan of this outfit he wore to Galaxy Con Richmond last year. Such a classy, down to earth, almost like sage look on him. I don't even know how to describe it. I said this in one of my YouTube shorts a while ago, but it's giving quiet luxury. It's giving, I know I look good, but I don't have to flaunt it. I always love to see David in brown. That's a beautiful shade on him. Pretty Boy. New day, new fit. Okay, so I'm obviously not including character outfits. Otherwise, like half of the S tier would be Phileas Fogg. However, I did include some of the stuff he wears in staged since those are his actual clothes. Gonna get into some of David's pandemic chic outfits. So obviously we've got his signature gray hoodie that he wears for a lot of the show. And like, it's literally just a normal gray hoodie. And yet something about it is such a sleigh. Like there's a certain amount of confidence it takes to present yourself this like disheveled and normal. Like there's definitely an appeal to it. I get it. I get why the fans love it so much. It's like, I'm David Tennant. This is what you get. I woke up like this. However, there's some casual outfits from this era that are like even more of a sleigh in my opinion. Like I love him in this denim jacket. It's so like rugged mountain man. That was an unhinged thing to say. And I also really love this blue button down though I think that's just as much owing to like the lighting of this photo shoot. Like this photo is just beautiful. Like his hair, the, the hands, whatever he's doing with the hands. Like it's such a vibe. I think my favorite though is this quilted leather jacket. Like it looks so good on him. It's giving like your cool uncle who's in a rock band, but in a sexy way. So I'm gonna put that one and look at you, you're gorgeous, and the rest of them in Pretty Boy. Next up we have the red and black suit that David wore to this year's Comic Relief. This is so camp. This is so like Bond villain. It's absolutely ridiculous and I love it. That's one of the things about David physically is that he's like such a soft, sweet man with like perpetual villain face. He's all like sharp and angular and this outfit brings that out really well. I love the like exaggerated lapel. It's so distinctive and he got some really fun photos with it. I'm gonna put it in pretty boy. Okay so I guess early on in his career David was wearing a lot of stuff by Paul Smith and he did this one photo shoot in a couple of his outfits and I don't know how to feel about them. Like this cream sort of patchwork shirt with the scarf. Like it's beautiful. It's beautifully made but like something about it makes him look so washed out. I don't know if it's the shirt or if it's the lighting. Same with this one, like the tie and the cardigan. I, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to put this one in the third tier. I'm sorry, David. I know you probably love these outfits, but I think over time you've found things that suit you much better. You've got this orange, yellow, red, black, brown striped sweater. I think he wore it a lot during the Jessica Jones press tour. He's got it with a blazer in this one. I really like this look. I, I definitely think it looks better on him than the orange sweater from the BAFTAs. I'm still only gonna put it in the third tier, but that's really only because of the second tier I feel like is gonna get super overcrowded. More kind of casual stuff. We've got a couple of these patterned shirts that he wore during the Good Omens press tour last year. They're very 70s, but they've also got like a modern feel to them for sure. I don't know if I'm the hugest fan of the blue one, but it still looks pretty good on him. I like the orange one better. It's like 
flowers with also kind of like a pink splatter vibe to them. I'm gonna put both of these in the third tier. This Much Ado About Nothing photo shoot is definitely one of the best photo shoots David has done. There's so much smolder going on here. And the outfit's really nice too, really flattering. You've got a brown button-down shirt, I think a black velvet blazer, and a tie. Obviously he looks fantastic. Originally I put it in the second tier, but there wasn't enough room, so I ended up sliding it down to the third tier. It's a really good outfit, it's just not that memorable. There's not much to talk about. Y'all, this is ridiculous. So a couple of months ago, David wore this pink silk robe and pajamas on a very brief appearance he made on The Masked Singer. This is so camp. Like, David, what are you doing? It's so fun though, and like, I definitely feel like it takes a level of confidence that he wouldn't have had like 10, maybe even five years ago. This is giving, I'm David Tennant, I do what I want, and I wear what I want, so I'm putting it in Pretty Boy. This is the suit that David wore for his announcement as the host of Genius Game. It's another Joshua Kane, and it's beautiful. It's so richly tailored. I love this color on him. I feel like I've never really seen it before. Ooh, when this show comes out, I wonder if he'll be wearing a different suit every night. I bet we'll get a lot of cool stuff from there. But if he just wears this suit every night too, that's fine because it's gorgeous. I'm gonna put it in Pretty Boy. We've got a few solid second tiers in a row here. We've got this cream suit from the red carpet of Good Omens, looking very angelic for a demon. Super simple, love the color on him. Not even referring to the outfit here, but this Radio Times cover is just in general one of my favorite photos ever taken of David. Like the hands and the hair, the furrowed eyebrows. It's so like quintessentially David Tennant. It's so like, frenzied mad genius. It's also giving me like orchestral conductor energy. You guys don't know how much I need David to do a role like that. Not the maestro we got, but the maestro we deserve. Anyways, the suit's great too. Another velvet, gorgeous color on him. And then we have this double-breasted, high-collared, it looks like a military jacket. I believe this was a photo shoot he did for Hamlet. It's giving very, very Hamlet. This has always been, I think, one of David's most like interesting and iconic photo shoots. It really brings out his bone structure and his sort of like dark mystery mysterious essence. So yeah, all three of those are going in Pretty Boy. And now we get to some of my absolute favorites. I have saved the most fun David Tennant fashion niche for last, which is of course his sparkle goth era. So the first truly show-stopping moment of the Tennessance was David showing up to the Evening Standard Theatre Awards in this dazzling bead encrusted jacket. I thought it was Joshua Kane, it's actually not, it's Mithridate. I remember everyone on Tumblr just collectively losing their minds when this photo dropped and then immediately rushing to draw Crowley wearing it. I'm trying to make heads or tails of the pattern on this thing. It's got all these beads and sequins and patches of like this gold silk. It's just beautiful. Lots of stars, he's got a star-shaped pendant, there's this silver beetle shaped clasp. I don't know if that's a reference to like the time beetle from turn left or if he just likes bugs. Either way, this is like jaw droppingly gorgeous. It's giving rock god. It's giving star maker. It's giving I am in the prime of my career and I freaking know it. The next beautiful black suit moment came on the Rolling Stone red carpet. I do not like this one as much, mostly because leopard print is just not to my personal taste and I think that's the kind of pattern they're going for with the brocade on this thing. I do really love the brooch and obviously the trans TARDIS pin. I also, like I've said in previous photos, I don't think this style of hair suits him very well. And then we have the red carpet for Plaza Suite, a bit simpler look. We've got a basic black blazer and like a sparkly black turtleneck under it. I'm obviously putting Evening Standard in Look at You, You're Gorgeous. I think the last two I'm just gonna put in You Could Be Beautiful. Just because they do pale a bit in comparison to the jaw-dropping spectacularness of the Evening Standard jacket, and also I just don't think he looks very comfortable in these two photo shoots. Like, baby's anxiety was probably hitting. Ah, the BAFTA photo shoot! This is another Joshua Kane. Now I have to put this one and look at you, you're gorgeous, because it's the reason he knows I exist! I mean, I basically voiced all of my reasons that I love this suit in the YouTube short heard around the world. It's so elegant and dashing, the fabric is so rich, and it's giving Phileas Fogg, and he likes to give Phileas Fogg. I like to give Phileas Fogg. And now we come to David's three outfits from the actual BAFTAs night, and I believe his red carpet suit takes the cake for my favorite thing he has ever worn. The forest green and gold fabric is one of the most beautiful and unique designs I have ever seen. There's so much gorgeous symbolism, presumably relating to good omens, with the angel wings and the snakeskin and the stars. It's double-breasted, you know I love double-breasted! This suit is just everything that a spectacular David Tennant outfit should be. It's elegant, it's dark, it's whimsical, it's utterly unique. Joshua Kane, I salute you. 
And we, of course, follow that up with another intergalactic serve, which is the kilt that broke the internet. Obviously, the kilt was, like, such a bold move. I mean, the pleats are beautiful. But what I really, really love is this black silk jacket, and it's got this sort of swirly, almost wing-like rhinestone pattern on the shoulders that cascades down the back so gorgeously. It's just magical. I do have slightly mixed feelings about his third outfit of the night. As I have said, it's grown on me a bit. The fabric is beautiful. It just looks maybe a bit sloppily tailored compared to the other two outfits, and I still don't really like the huge gold collar that close to his face. I actually think this outfit looks better on people's fan arts of, like, Crowley wearing the outfit than it does on David. I don't know what it is. So yeah, obviously the first two BAFTA outfits are going in Look at You, You're Gorgeous. The third one goes in You Could Be Beautiful. And finally, we have what is sure to become an all-time classic signature favorite David Tennant outfit is the shooting star spangled jacket he wore to this year's Olivier's. You won in our hearts! I love how when the light hits the velvet, it's not just black, but it's almost this midnight blue in places. I love how alongside the silver rhinestones, he also uses like green and blue ones to really create this feeling of a galaxy. I'm not sure what the moth buttons are for, but they're pretty. Another just magical outfit that is so quintessentially David. What I love about David's current outfits is they're just, that's who he is is to so many of us. He's a star. He just shines so brightly and inspires so many people just by being unabashedly himself. And that's what outfits like this mean to me, and that's why I think they're so beautiful. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this silly little video I made on a whim. I love making tier lists. They just give me so much serotonin. And hopefully we will get yet another amazing bedazzled outfit from David at the BAFTAs next month. Please let him win. Please, 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 please. That's all for today. Now I gotta go edit this sucker. Toodles!